Hello, I'm Eric Renault, and this is a video for Tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop and Lightroom. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to sync an image to Lightroom Mobile and sync it back again to our desktop application. Whilst we do that, we'll make a nice black and white image. So let's jump in and see how it's done. So here I am in Lightroom and I've got a collection called Mobile Editing and it's got four images in it. Now the one I'm going to work on on my iPad is this one of the train and I'll keep it up on screen in the background so we can see what's going on. Now this collection has this double ended arrow next to it and this means that it's being synced via the Creative Cloud and I can pick that up on Lightroom Mobile. Talking of Lightroom Mobile, let's go across and have a look at what's going on. So I've got my four images here and you can see they're exactly the same as we had in Lightroom. And I'm going to tap on the one of the train. Now I want to make this into a nice black and white. So I'm going to tap on the third icon along and we've got some nice presets in here, including black and white, you can see there. So I'm going to tap on that and we've got some to choose from. We can go auto perhaps or one of the contrasts, but I like film two for this image. So I'm going to tap on that one and use that. Now we can finesse these, should we wish, using this second icon along. And you can see here that we've got some of the sliders that we may recognize from the basic tab in Lightroom. And I'm going to scooch along and tap on contrast. And then I can just click on this little button here and I can drag it left and right. I'm going to keep it quite high to about there. It's roughly where it was. I'm going to scooch this along and I'm going to use clarity. I'm going to put some clarity on in exactly the same way. And there we are. We're done with this. Now I want to sync this back. So what I'm going to do is tap this icon in the top right hand corner that looks like a cloud with a plus sign. When I tap on that, we get this little dialog box and it says sync now. Yes, please do that. Now for transparency, I'm going to allow this to run in real time. So I'm sorry if I waffle just a little bit, but we can see how quickly this is working. Now the two devices that I'm using here are both on the same Wi-Fi, although that doesn't have a great deal to do with it, but it's going up to the Creative Cloud, it's saving it there, and then it's bringing it back into my Lightroom catalog. So any second now, here we go. I'm going to waffle just a little bit longer, but it will be reflected. I promise you it's going to change in the background there. And we'll be able to see all the changes we made in Lightroom Mobile. There we go. It's done eventually. I'm just going to click on that just so we can hide the iPad for a second. Now from here, I can now make changes. So I may want to put a vignette on there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring down the vignette. I'm going to make this quite a heavy vignette so we can really see it when we go back to the iPad. There we go. And I'm happy with that. I'm done. Now, I'm not going to do anything else here at all because Lightroom is always looking to save it to the Creative Cloud. And I'm going to go back to my iPad. I'm going to go back to the main page here just so we can see what's going on a little bit more clearer. Now to save me waffling again, I'm going to cut here and we can see it updated in just a second. So there we are, it's popped in. You can see we've got the changes. It didn't take a great deal of time. But what we can imagine here is we can do a whole series of images on Lightroom Mobile, and then when we get back to the office or to our desk, we can then finesse this in Lightroom proper. Now we can also use this in a studio, and we'll do that in a later date. So there we go, working with Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile really is a breeze to go backwards and forwards to. I'm Eric Renick, thank you very much for joining me here. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.